Good morning. My name is Doug Jefferson, and we're here at the fifth annual Utah Karate Championship and USA Karate National Qualifier. This is a small tournament that we have up here in Park City so that the local people can see what USA Karate looks like. And we've had a great turnout, great support in the Park City community. We've got 130 athletes all from this area competing today to qualify to go to the USA Karate Nationals in Greenville, South Carolina in July. We have ages from five years old to 62 years old competing. And karate's turned into a great exercise sport and athletic development for young people. I've been uh, doing karate now for like 14 years and uh, I've been teaching seminars now for about two years and uh, did one yesterday here. I uh, had like 40 kids and uh, I think it went really well. I think they had a good time. We did some fun stuff and uh, did some takedowns. I haven't seen any yet today that we did yesterday, but hopefully, you know, a couple of them will try them. So, yeah, so I'm uh, in my referee uniform, so I'm trying my hand at refereeing. Uh, it's fun to get to jump sides, jump the fence, and uh, uh, you know have fun with uh, these guys that I've that have been refereeing me for years, and now I get to uh, kind of be on the other side with them, and uh, it's a good time. It's a good time. It's pretty fun. Yeah. So the way uh, that uh, karate works, the karate of the sport, um, you'll see the, the flags in the referee's hands. You can score one point, two points, or three points with uh, with various techniques. So all punches are one point. Punches to the body, punches to the face. Even if you score two punches, you're gonna get one point. Kicks to the body are two points, and kicks to the head, including takedowns, are three points. So that's that's a little bit about the scoring. Um, to the body, you have to make contact. You have to make good contact. To the face, you have to touch, but then you can't diminish your opponent's ability to fight. So if you injure them at all, it's contact foul. So the, the, the idea behind the sport is that it's, it promotes control. So you have entire control of your body, you're responsible for your opponent's safety. And it's more like a chess match where, uh, say in uh, some of the full contact sports, you know, you hit them a good kick to the knee or a good kick to the head, and that's it for the rest of the fight. You know, the other player is diminished. Well here, you kick somebody in the head, you get three points for it, but they're still 100% ready to go. So you have to outsmart them again and uh, and the, the play gets to keep keep going instead of a knockout or a uh, injury to the leg. So that's kind of how uh, the sport works. This event qualifies you for nationals, which is also a team trials. So for everybody that's 12 and up, uh, 12 to 20 years old gets to try out for the junior team uh, at in Greenville. And uh, the junior team this year it's a big de it's a big year because they go to uh, Colombia for the Pan American Championships, the Junior Pan American Championships and then to Spain for the Junior World Championships. Um, the World Championships switch every year, junior, senior. So next year will be a Senior World Championships. Hopefully we'll get to go again. Uh, but this year is uh, junior in Spain. So for a lot of these kids um, that are 12 and up, it'll be a, it's a big year for them. I'm just uh, excited to be here and uh, really happy that uh, these guys wanted to do a, a seminar yesterday. And uh, hopefully I can come back next year. So. My background, I would started karate when I was 15 years old, many years ago down in Salt Lake. And then I've traveled around the world training with uh, various instructors in Europe and Japan. And then in uh, about four years ago, I was appointed as the technical director for USA Karate. When I got that position, we decided that we needed to start expanding our knowledge base. We became involved in LTAD, which is long-term athletic development. We do joint sessions with the Utah Olympic Park during the summer, which is a multi-sport approach to building up a foundation for young people in developing agility, balance, coordination, and speed, all of which karate incorporates in all their classes. And we feel like this is a great sport to help people whether they're going to stay with karate all their life or go on to skiing or snowboarding, this is a great foundational sport. So three years ago, we opened a full-time karate school over next to Park City Roasters, just east of the Smith's Grocery Store. It's 1680 East Ute Boulevard, and we have full-time classes there right. Monday through Thursday. Go. Hey. Good job, guys.